Nice. Uh, we ready to move on to Do Better Dude? Yeah, guys, if you're listening, we have a segment for you, Do Better Dude of the Week. This is where we just dig into the old interwebs and find a dude who's out there making a positive impact. Because let's be honest, when you turn on social media or the news, there's a lot of shit out there. So it's, wanna, a lie. It's, it's a lie. It's a lie. Smoking it's a lie. <laughs> So we want to highlight somebody doing some cool shit, and we got somebody, or maybe two. Last week we had two. So what do we got this week, Jr.? This week we got, uh, I, yeah, yeah. I guess it actually is two people. Oh, <laughs> it is two people. You're an overachiever. Fucking bro. roll. I am. The story. It's it's a very cute and short story, though. There was a young black kid walking through a community, and he was going door to door asking people if he could mow their lawns because he wanted to save up money to get a PS5. So he was. Hitting up door to door, the it. lawnmower. Love it. It's doing it. Now, some neighbors didn't appreciate this. What? And they called the police. And it was on a kid asking to mow the lawn. On a kid asking to mow the lawn. It might have been it might have been racially okay. motivated, which is terrible. But the story does end happy, okay. I promise. So when the police were called, they showed up, they saw what this kid was doing, and they're like, you know what? This is a good kid. I don't know why the neighbor called that. So Officer Colerin. Colerin. Yeah, Colerin. Uh, Officer Colerin went back to his apartment and he talked to all the police officers, and they actually all chipped in and got the kid a PS5. And he drove back out to the kid uh, when he was like doing the door, and he came and he talked to him. He like put his arm around. He's like, "Listen, uh, I know you've been doing that. Let me just walk you over here." And he opens his trunk, and the kid sees the PS5, and he's like. Oh my gosh! With everything that was going on, yeah. with poli- like we love police. Most policemen are really great people. Absolutely. And this story just helps illustrate that that like these are officers serving the community. This kid was trying to provide a service to his community. He got <laughs> he got tattled on by some Karen lady, <laughs> and the officer shows up with him and all of his buddies, and they all chipped in. They're like, "Hey, you're a good kid. Keep it up. That's amazing. Here's a PS5. Keep mowing lawns yeah, too. Shout out to all the officers and all of our active duty men and women out there. We have so much love and admiration and gratitude for you all. Uh, this is a super cool story. I love that this kid's out hitting the streets mowing. I love that he's putting in the work to go earn the money for yeah. the PS5. He wasn't just asking for money. Damn he's it, like, Mom. Give like, me the PS5 <laughs> come now. On, Mom. Come on. I want no. it now. He's, he's like, I'll like, mow your lawn for money, which is yeah. like, that's normal. Like, yes. that's a great question. I grew up mowing lawns for money as a kid, so I can relate to this kid. Good on him. Yeah. Oh, awesome. that's probably something that people don't do so much. I don't see a lot of kids mowing lawns today. With it, but I remember I mowing lawns mowing in the lawns for dead money. of yeah. summer. Yeah. Oh, that's an underappreciated Fire. skill right there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Pretty soon we're gonna have fucking little AIs out there mowing the lawns for us. Ooh, a Roomba <laughs> lawnmower. Uh, those already oh. exist. Actually, those have existed Roo- for a little while. Roomba, Roomba lawnmowers. For the grass? Uh, well, it's not Roomba. I know that there is like some but Wi-Fi s- controlled yeah, lawnmower. Same, same, yeah. Interesting. Very cool. No, I, I love the story. <laughs> My first thought is like, a, I love the approach of the kid. If you want something, go out and fucking earn it. Like, hundred yeah, percent. That gets me fired up for sure. Good dude. And then he's gonna get a good beard in his life for <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. And beyond that, just like, good. Like, I don't know. What I'm trying to say, but the whole thing is great. I'm just yeah. gonna leave it at yeah. that. The yeah. whole thing is awesome. We hate that neighbor, but also it kind of worked out because the cops came and like we're like, yeah. no, screw you. Good lady. things happen to good people. It all worked out for the kid. Yeah. Fucking good on you. Yeah. Love it. Yeah, and then that lady's house burnt down by a complete accident. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Th- allegedly, that's not true. That's I made that up. Uh, you guys got any final thoughts or words for the guys before we sign off? You got any dad jokes for us? Any dad jokes? Any good jokes? A half-finished bedroom set walks into a bar. Uh, the bartender says, I'm sorry, we don't serve half-finished bedroom sets. You're going to have to leave. To which the half-finished bedroom set says, I was just looking for a one-night stand. Ha! <laughs> but <laughs> oh. All right. All right. There you go. Nice. There, what's there? There's a company here in town that has these like funky billboards, and they there's like one, one billboard stand. that's like one night stand, and it has like one night. I'm just looking for a one night stand, and it's like <laughs> it's got one, the one night stand. Yeah, it's, it's like, like a, a furniture reseller or something. Yeah, exactly. yeah I've seen those. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they have all these like punny sayings. It's pretty catchy like though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because we're talking about it. Nice. Mm-hmm. But. All right, guys, that's it for today. If you have any questions that you want us to answer, you can drop a comment below this video or shoot us a message at ask at livebearded.com. Either way, we love hanging out with you guys. Thank you for tuning in. Live Bearded exists because of you guys. So from all of us here, thank you. And as always, Live Live Bearded! Bearded!